Hi guys, we'll have a quick look at Here With Me by D4VD. This is an easy version, so I'll have the kipu on fret 4. Just to keep the riff as easy as possible for the beginners. Now, I'll be going through the song part by part, so I won't be showing you guys the chords firstly. Rather, I'll be showing you guys everything part by part. So starting off with the first chord shape, which is a C major 7. I have third fret on the A string. The E string and the D string made it. Open G B E string. So we have just move your guitar a bit just to get that kind of reverb effect. Uh, so I'm strumming the chord. Then I pluck the high E string. And after I pluck the high E string, I just uh, mute the chord. So we have I go to this kind of shape, which is like a D. Now at, actually, it's an E major chord. Having 4th fret on G and E 5th fret on B, strum the chord, again a bit of vibrato, hit the B string after that, so we got, let me go to this chord shape which is actually a A minor but I'm playing over here, 5th frets on D, G, B, E, strum the chord once, and then hit the B string 5th fret, and then we come to a G minor which will be 3rd frets on D, G, B, strum the chord, play the B string. So we got the first four bars. After that, we'll go to a F major seven chord. I have D three G two B one open high E string. Strum the chord from the D string till the high E string, and now pick B and G one by one. So we got. I'll go to first fret on G string, then open B. Then open high E string, then B string, so we got. So we got. I went G, B, E, B on this chord shape. Now this is again an E major chord, but this voicing, so we got. Now I'll do this. I'm on a G string, 7th fret, then 5th fret on B string, 6th fret on B string, 8th fret on B string, then I'll do a slide from 4 to 5 on the B string, then 4 on B, that's part 1, so we got... Make sure you add a bit of feel and bend. Next part goes in the exact same way from the C major chord. And plug the E string. And now plug the B string also. So we got. Next chord will be same again. But pluck the E and then the B string. E, B string. The next chord goes like this. So this is the A minor. I strum the chord. And then I play 7 on high E. 8 on high E. Then I play 5 on B. So we got. Then I'll do a small bend or vibrato on third fret of the B string. Then fifth fret on G. Then I come to F major 7 chord. I do this. I strum the chord. Then I play B. Then back to E major, same thing, but I'll do this. I'm playing G1, open B, open E, open B, and then the same thing which I did previously. A 7 on G, then a 5, 6, 8, then 6 to 7, 6, I'm sorry, 4 to 5, 4. And let's play it all together. I hope you don't have any doubt. If you have, please let me know. 1, 2, 3, 4.
that's a cool song guys it just repeats and repeats and repeats and you also have a nice little idea on how the cause actually works in a progression you know that so i hope the video helps you out let me know what other songs you want to learn i'll see you guys back in the next video bye